Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Face-Off Captain America. This figure is widely regarded as the best classic Captain America figure. It definitely has a, its fair amount of flaws, as do most of the face-off figures, but I kind of agree that it's still probably the best classic cap. It's got great sculpt work. We have lots of wrinkles and sculpted details in the pants. The boots look great. The gloves look great. The pouches could be a little bit better, but they're not bad. We have lots of cloth wrinkles in the lower torso. And then the scale mail in the upper torso is just superb. It looks great. And then the head sculpt, it's a nice classic looking cap. Uh, just like the other face-off figures, the paint is probably what suffers the most. It's not great. We do have shading throughout the blues, uh, but the, the white is really chalky and the red's not much better. So it could definitely be a better figure, but it's still pretty good. And he comes with this kind of shield, a nice round shield. Not metallic at all. I think I'm okay with that though. And then it has a wrist clip and elastic straps for putting it either on his arm or over his shoulder. So you can put it on his back, which is pretty cool. He stands roughly six and a half inches tall, so pretty good skill for Marvel Legends. And he has pretty good articulation. So the head can look down. Doesn't look up too well. That's about it. Uh, side to side swivels, no problem. He has a butterfly joint which isn't great, but it's not bad. It does allow for some posability more so than a figure that doesn't have it. And it actually works, it's just that the shading didn't continue through, so you see some striping going on in the blues with the dark blue shading. It's not bad though. Uh, you see we have the smooth part of the scale mail under there. I guess that's okay, except it's not continued through the bicep, so it doesn't look that great. Uh, but the shoulder, eh, that one's stuck. This guy's old, and these guys tend to get stuck. He does have um, fairly limited shoulder motion. I remember it being better than that, but maybe they don't go farther than that. Maybe that's it. This one doesn't want to move at all, so I can't say for sure. I know we get the swivel out of it, but no hinge that I can get more than that. So that's disappointing, but I think... I thought they moved more than that, so it might just be this one. I'm not sure about that. We have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, we have a wrist swivel hidden in the glove, we have a wrist hinge, and individual finger hinges. Can't really make a fist out of that hand, but it's nice for posing. This hand, we can get a pretty decent fist out of it. It's not great, but it's not bad, and of course those are all individually articulated as well. The ab crunch, it goes about that far forward and that far back. So it's a little bit limited, it's not great, it looks like it should do better, but it doesn't, unfortunately. We have a waist twist above the belt, the belt is glued onto the crotch piece. We have T-jointed hips, give you pretty good range of motion. Thigh swivel built into that. We have double jointed knees, good range of motion. We have a shin swivel at the top of the boot. We have a really nice ankle hinge. And we have an ankle rocker. It's not huge, but it, it works pretty well. And then we have a nice toe hinge, so that's good. I don't know why the uh, feet are made out of blue plastic, so when that paint chips, it doesn't look good. So, like I said, there are definitely some issues, but I still think as far as the classic looking cap, you're probably not going to get a better figure than this. At least at this point, this is the best one. And we keep getting new Captain America figures, but none of them have taken over this guy's spot as far as I'm concerned. So I'll put him in a couple of poses at the end here so you can see him in action. But I do recommend him. I think he's a pretty good figure. And I think you're going to like it for the most part. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.